The Alibaba.com Success Guide is a book that came across my desk because um, I have friends. My publisher is friends with the PR firm for this, and they sent me this book for review. In fact, the authors themselves have sent it to me uh, six or eight months ago for review. And uh, I actually ended up on the back cover here. This is my quote endorsing the book. So I have to say up front, I'm not unbiased, and this is not a free review. <laughs> but I really thought this was an interesting book, as you can tell, because I put my name on it. And here's why. Well, first of all, let me tell you who Alibaba.com is. Alibaba.com may not be a site you've heard of if you're in the States or in Europe, an English speaker. But they're the world's largest business-to-business -business marketplace. And what they really specialize in is putting together importers, largely from America, for example, with exporters from China. At least that's where they started. So it's an import-export marketplace, sort of an eBay-type situation, but a, a kind of a Craigslist eBay sort of thing. Where you've got a directory of buyers and of, of sellers, essentially manufacturers of goods. And it's grown to be worldwide now. And it is a very interesting place to source products. And it's a big, big operation, Alibaba.com, very successful big company, to the point where they put out this book. So I have three things, four things, in fact, I wanted to tell you that I really liked about this book and one that I really don't. One that I really don't. So here's the four things I thought were interesting for you. First of all, it's a folk, there's a focus, if you read this, on importing goods. Now, I said last week in a different uh, segment here at the Scott Fox Show that product sourcing should not be your first concern, and I stand by that. I don't like it when new online entrepreneurs get obsessed with putting together a product mix before they find demand. Products are easy to find on the web these days. It's not necessarily easy to find good products or cheap products, or especially good cheap products that differentiate your business. But if you start by just looking for products, you're missing the point. You need to find demand first and then fill that demand. But assuming you've found some demand, you've got an audience that's hungry for products and services, then you need to go find products that are different. Importing those products is a great way to do that. That's what Alibaba.com specializes in. Alibaba.com is about helping people learn to import things that they can then sell to their own audiences. And this is why it's interesting. So here are my four things that I like and one that I don't. First of all, the thing I like about this book is that it introduces you to the idea of importing and makes you take it seriously. The book is written in plain English, but it really opens your eyes to the fact that 95% of the world population is not here in the United States. 95%. That means there are 20, for every American that's watching this, there are 20 non-Americans on this planet. And we get distracted sometimes here in the States. I'm as guilty of this as anybody, although I've traveled and lived extensively abroad. We think that we're the whole market. We're not. 95% of the Earth is not an American. This book introduces you to that concept as a business opportunity for you. So it's written in plain English. I like that. It opens your eyes to the other 95% of the world. And then it's both tactical and strategic. And those who have read my books know that that's my favorite thing about a book. If it gives you a strategic framework to understand what's going on, and then it gives you the tactical things that you can do about it. I hate books that are all strategy. The blah, 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 you should do this, you should do that, but don't tell you actually how to get there. And then I also don't like books that are too tactical. They say, do this, do this, do this, but they don't under help you understand why. So I think this book is interesting. Brad and Deborah have written a good book because it's both tactical and strategic. So the tactical part is good, good practical tips. I mean, you know, obviously it's written in text, but there's a lot of screenshots. Like, can you see this? Let me get that in front of the camera. The screenshots throughout the book. This, it's a lot like the way I write my books. Like, here's a two-page spread of different screenshots. You can actually look through, and they walk you through how to use the Alibaba.com website. So that really helps because it's a big marketplace and knowing how to use it effectively is the whole point of this book. There's another screenshot. So I like that. It's very practical screenshots and then there are lots of case studies. Again, a lot like my books. They give you real world examples, not just theory. That's good too. And they give you a lot of advice on safe trading. Now, you, When you're dealing with folks through an online medium and you're investing a bunch of money to import products, you have to be careful that the folks at the other end of the line are trustworthy. And that is a real issue, of course, at Alibaba.com, as it is with any online business. And they talk a lot about how to insure yourself, especially given the complexities of not only cross-border, but cross-cultural trade and communications. So this book is really useful for that. Then the strategic thing that I think is interesting 
and helpful for you is that it helps you potentially differentiate yourself. In the crowded online marketplace today, differentiation is the key to success as an online business owner or as an online marketer. And if you can find products that aren't available from your competitors, that's a huge differentiation. And that's what Alibaba.com is really interesting to help you do. It can help you find products that the other guy isn't already selling and custom order products and develop relationships with people that can give you a competitive advantage in the marketplace. And that's what I think is really interesting about the Ali, uh, official Alibaba.com success guide. And this was done with the endorsement and participation of Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba.com. It's full of good information. Now here's the thing I don't like. I said there are four things I like and one thing I don't like. The thing I don't like, this is an ugly book. I'm sorry guys, but this looks like an internal company handbook and that's why I'm going to the extra mile here to, to suggest that folks check it out because if you saw this on the, on the, on the uh, shelf at the bookstore, would you grab this? I don't think so. You might grab a book that looked more, how about like this? Isn't that pretty? Whoa, that's my book. <laughs> that's my new book, right? What are you going to buy? All right, so uh, obviously I'd like you to buy both. But the point is, don't overlook this. As they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, this is a classic example of that. This book is full of insider tips and strategies for sourcing products from the world's largest B2B marketplace, and it is that. It, pro it delivers what it promises on the cover. And if you're interested at all in sourcing products overseas, I think the official Alibaba.com success guide could be very interesting to you. If you'd like to win a copy of this, I'm going to be posting this clip at scottfox.com on my blog real soon. If you leave a comment there and tell us why you'd like a copy, I, we've got a couple to give away, courtesy of the publisher, uh, Wiley, Wiley Books. So if you'd like a copy of this, visit scottfox.com and leave a comment and tell us what you think is interesting and why you could use it. So let me just leave you with the closing and thanks to our sponsor today, the Alibaba.com Success Guide. This is a quote from me on the back. Want to learn how to profit from Alibaba.com, the world's largest international trading platform? This book's practical guidance and inspiring success stories can help you take advantage of Alibaba.com's powerful online product sourcing and partnership tools. Read it to learn how to grow your business and profit from the globalization of the internet economy. So there you go. The official Alibaba.com success guide by Brad and Deborah Shep. So that's what I've got for you today. That's our book review segment. Thanks to our friends and sponsors, Plan Television Arts, Wiley Books, and the folks at Alibaba. And of course, my friends, Brad Shep and Deborah Shep, the authors.